What is your name, please? My name is Jacqueline Curtis. What is your name, please? My name is Jacqueline Curtis. What is your name, please? My name is Jacqueline Curtis. Two of these people are imposters. Only one of them is the real Jacqueline Curtis and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. And here is our host, Bud Collier. Thank you very much. Welcome once again to our little game of deliberate misrepresentation, wherein our panel endeavors to figure out which one of three challengers has sworn to tell the truth. To tell the truth is brought to you each week by Geritol, America's number one tonic, a high-potency tonic that helps you feel stronger fast. And now let's meet our cross-examiners. What is your name, please? My name is Polly Bergen. My name is Jack Parr. My name is Kitty Carlisle. And my name is Ty Gardner. <laughs> Jack, may I just say how happy we all are that you could take time out from your very successful Tonight Show, which I know we never miss at our house, to come over and join us again. Thank you, bud. All right, now, panel, these three ladies all claim to be Jacqueline Curtis. Only one, of course, is the real Jacqueline Curtis. The other two have merely assumed that identity, and they do not have to stick to the truth. Now, in front of you, you'll find copies of an affidavit. Will you please follow along while I read it to you? <clears throat> I, Jacqueline Curtis, am an actress on my first visit to America from England. When I was 14, I was voted Britain's perfect teenager. Since then, I have appeared in 14 motion pictures and on many television programs. I am a regular panelist on the British television version of To Tell the Truth, signed Jacqueline Curtis. <laughs> now, panel, as you heard, these three ladies all claim to be Jacqueline Curtis, England's To Tell the Truth panelist. Only the real Jacqueline Curtis is required to answer your questions truthfully. As usual, you will each question until you hear this signal. And at the end of the questioning period, you will be asked to register your vote for the one who, in your opinion, is the real Jacqueline Curtis. And we'll begin our questioning tonight with Hi Gardner. Hi. Uh, number two, how uh, long ago were you the perfect British teenager? Um, six years ago. Six years ago. Number one, how long ago were you the perfect teenager? Six years ago. And you, number three? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. How uh, uh, long since you made your last movie? About three months ago. About three months ago. What studio in, in uh, England did you make it at? Pinewood. Uh, number one, Ingrid Bergman is making a movie in, in uh, England now called uh, Indiscretion. Do you know what studio she's making it at? At Pinewood. Uh, do you know number two? Associated British. And number three? Elstree. What did you say? Elstree. Uh, number uh, one, what is the equivalent of the Actors Studio in uh, London? No answer? Well, that's, that's the way they teach them to talk here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Polly? Uh, no, number two, Elstree. Number two, Elstree. Number three, Elstree. What are the different, the names of the different stations in England? Of the different television stations? Yes. Number two? Um, I take it you mean the channel? Yes. Oh, oh there are only two, BBC and ITV. I see. Number two, if you were on this panel, who would you vote for? <laughs> Myself. <laughs> number two, what about you? Um, I think I'd vote for number one. But I'm always wrong anyway. <laughs> <laughs> number three, uh, what is considered the largest motion picture studio in England? Um, well, rank. I Where is say. that located? Well, they film their things at various studios. Where is the main studio located? Well, it's Pinewood, Earl Street. I, w I w really wouldn't know which is the main studio. Jack Barr. Number one, would you give me the last three letters of the English alphabet, please? The last three letters, please. X, Y, what, please? X, Y, Z. You, number three. X, Y, Z. Number two, who is Wilfred Pickles? Um, Wilfred Pickles is a, a comedian. Number three, who is Max Bygraves? Max Bygraves is a comedian. He's very funny. Who is Tommy Trender, number one? 
He is a comedian. In America, they call it a spectacular. What do they call it in England? Are you asking me? Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Number two? Um, a spectacular. Have they ever called it a large one, number three? A large spectacular? They just say, <laughs> BBC presents a large one. Have you ever heard that? Oh, no, I haven't. Thank you. Kitty Carla. Number one, what program is opposite to tell the truth in England? <coughs> I don't know. I never watch it. <laughs> <laughs> number two, how much do the contestants get? The contestants, um, they have a hundred pounds. To divide up? To divide up, depending on number uh, three. Number three, where did you study acting? At RADA, Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. Number one, where did you study acting? At RADA. Number one, where is RADA? What street is it on? It's on uh, Shaftesbury Avenue. Hi, Gardner. Uh, number one, how many years has, to tell the truth, been on British TV? Oh, uh, just 12 weeks. That's all the time we have. It's time to vote now, panels. Without consultation, will you mark your ballots? And vote for number one, number two, or number three. Remember, please, that the challengers will receive $250 for every incorrect vote. All right, panel. That means Polly first. Polly, for whom did you vote? I voted for number three. Uh... I have to say why now, don't I? Not if you don't want to. Oh. <laughs> want well, to I can it? think of something. Well, please uh, tell me why. Actually, I voted for number three because, uh, 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 hi. Hi, <laughs> remember him. Hi, asked, him. Hi asked uh, uh, where they were filming the, the Ingrid Bergman picture, and one said something, and number two said something, and number three said something, and it would seem to me that number three would go with the one that was right if it was one or two. Yeah, no. thanks, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I can't tell you how glad I am I coaxed no, you for you your No, really, it was. Yes, sure. Jack uh, Parr, please. What is your vote? I voted for number two. I adore Polly, but I don't understand her. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how about you, Kitty? I voted for number three. Well, I've eliminated number one because Rada is on Gower Street, I think, and not Shaftesbury Avenue. And I voted for number three because she seemed to have more information. Hi, what about your selection? I voted for number one because Gower Street is in Hollywood. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. And the, and the other reason I voted for number one is she reminds me of a blonde Kitty Carlisle. <laughs> oh, well, all right, there we have our votes and our reasons. Uh, you compare your selections with ours as we find out which one of these ladies is England's panelist on To Tell the Truth. Will the real Jacqueline Curtis please stand up? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Now, number one, would you tell us who you really are and what you do? My name is Sheila O'Connor. I'm a professional dancer. I last appeared at the Latin Quarter in New York. Thank you. And number three, you who got the most votes, uh, what about you? My name is Ellen Hobbin. I'm a stewardess with Pan American World Airways on their Atlantic run. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it, too. And by totaling up the score, we find that there were three incorrect votes at $250 each, which means that you ladies divide amongst you $750 from Jarrett Hall. Mm -hmm. Hope you, you enjoyed your visit. Good night and good luck. Good night. This week out of challenges, please. What is your name, please? My name is Lawrence Gottermuller. What is your name, please? My name is Lawrence Gottermuller. What is your name, please? My name is Lawrence Gottermuller. <laughs> Once again, panel, may I direct your attention to your copies of this affidavit as I read it. I, Lawrence Gottemuller, am a farmer and the father of six sons. I own and work a farm which has been in my family for 120 years. Since I was 17 years old, I have won 13 titles in plowing competition. This year, for the second consecutive time, I am the level land plowing champion of the United States. 
Signed, Lawrence Gottemuller. Now, panel, as you heard, these three gentlemen all claim to be Lawrence Gottemuller, national plowing champion. Remember that only the real Lawrence Gottemuller is sworn to answer your questions truthfully, so uh, let's start our questioning this time with Polly Bergen. Polly? Oh, uh, number one, uh, how old are your six sons, respectively? Well, the oldest one is 20 years old, the next one is 18, the next one is 17, the next one is 14, then we have one 12 and one 8. Thank you. Number two, where, where is your farm? In uh, <coughs> Alaska County, Georgia, the nearest town is Hawkinsville. I see. Uh, of the 120 acres, how much is flat uh, uh, farming land and how much is hillside? Of the 120 acres? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, of the 120 years. Well, how many acres do you have? Well, I have about 600 acres altogether. How many acres of that is, is, is farming land? How much is uh, hillside? About two, uh, 290. Jack? Uh, number three. Your name is Lawrence Gottemuller? That's right. Will you spell Gottemuller, please? G-O-E-T-T-E-M-O-E-L-L-E-R. Number three, would you list the, your sons, please, in the <coughs> order of their birth? Number two, please. Number two? Yes, please. Uh, by name or by age? Uh, we've had the age. Shall we have the names? Uh, yeah, yes, uh, Lawrence Jr., <coughs> Sam, <laughs> John, Paul. When you get six, you sort of have to stop and think about it. For a <laughs> Thomas. The second one is Thomas, and the smallest is Hank. Uh, number one, you're... Kitty Carlisle. <laughs> I don't know any, huh? Number one, would you say Sam for me? Sam. And number three, would you say Sam? Sam. And you, you come from Georgia, too, number one? No, ma'am. I come from Arkansas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> number three, where do you come from? I'm from Ohio. But you say your farm number two is in Georgia? Yes, ma'am. Hawkinsville? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's the population of Hawkinsville? Well, with uh, me gone, they're about 3,341. <laughs> 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 Where in Arkansas do you, uh, is your farm? My farm is at Caraway, Arkansas. What is the closest uh, large city? Well, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Uh, what's the population of Jonesboro? Jonesboro is about 25,000 people. About 25,000. What's the next largest town of Jonesboro? Oh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, number three, uh, how old is the Farmer's Almanac? Do you know? No, I couldn't tell you. Num that's it. Sorry to break in there, but it's time now to vote once again. So without consultation, panel, will you please mark your ballot and select number one, number two, or number three. <laughs> okay, all set and marked, are you? Polly, how about you? I never even had a chance to talk about plowing or anything, and I know about plowing. Do you? you? Know. Yes. Contour or level? That's what I Level. Wanted. Oh, well, this fellow's on the level. <laughs> I vote for number three. Because I've spent a lot of time in Ohio, and he looks like he would come from Ohio, and they have a lot of big farms in Ohio, so I think it's him. Okay. Jack Parr, what about your choice? <clears throat> well, I think number three because the first two could not possibly look like they do and have six sons. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kitty, how about your vote? Number three. Well, I based it also on looks, not so much on the sons, but on the fact that he looked like he'd been spending a whole life plowing. And hi, Gardner, what about yours? Well, I uh, also voted for number three. And uh, hmm. one of the reasons for it, of course, I'm a, I'm a city boy, and I deal in dirt when I write a column, of course. <laughs> but uh, for some reason, of the three men there, he looked like the one who was most earthy. All right, there we have it. Now, everybody seems unanimous for number three. How did you select at home? We'll find out now how right or wrong we may have been as we discover which one of these three gentlemen is the real national plowing champion. So will the real Lawrence Gottemuller please stand up? Well, you really, you really hit
hit that one right on the nose, panel. Let's find out about the others now. Number one, would you tell us, please, uh, what you actually do and who you are? My name is Orwell Moore. I'm the coach and manager and owner of the world's champion professional girls t basketball team, the All-American Redhead. <laughs> and number two, sir, how about you? My name is R.H. Scarborough. <clears throat> I'm a lieutenant in the United States Coast Guard, presently assigned to the staff of the Commander 3rd Coast Guard District here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> It was a good game, and the panel did right well. And, of course, that means there were no incorrect votes. But in a case like that, Geritol is happy to contribute $150 for you gentlemen to have between you. Hope you enjoyed your visit. Good night, and good luck to you. <laughs> now, we'll meet a new set of challenges in just a moment. Of challenges, please. What is your name, please? My name is Mrs. Jose Figueres. What is your name, please? My name is Mrs. Jose Figueres. What is your name, please? My name is Mrs. Jose Figueres. All right, panel, for the third time tonight, may I direct your attention to your copies of another affidavit. I, Mrs. Jose Figueres, was born Karen Olson in New York City. While I was a student at Columbia University, I met Jose Figueres, who was in this country on a lecture tour. In 1953, Jose Figueres was elected president of his native land, Costa Rica. I am now the first lady of Costa Rica and delegate to the United Nations. Signed, Mrs. Jose Figueres. All right, these ladies panel all claim to be Mrs. Jose Figueres, first lady of Costa Rica. Let's start this questioning with Kitty Carlisle. Kitty? Thank you, bud. Number one, what does Costa Rica mean? Rich coast. Rich coast. Mm -hmm. Number two, what were you studying at Columbia? Business education. Number three, do women have the vote in Costa Rica? Yes, since 1949. Since 1949. Uh, number one, where did you live in New York? I uh, lived out in Westchester County. Number two, where did you live in New York? 58 East 78th Street. 58? Yes. Oh. Number three, where did you live in New York? 65 East End Avenue. <laughs> uh, number one... <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of a reaction was that? Uh, number one, where, how many people vote in Costa Rica? I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know exactly. Number two, do you know? Hi, Gardner. You'll never know. <laughs> uh, number one, what is the closest subway station to uh, Columbia University, assuming it was, the subway was running? Well, I think it's on 7th Avenue. Uh, number two, what is the, uh, the closest subway station? 8th Avenue. Beg pardon? 8th Avenue. And what street? Um, I believe it's 114th Street. And uh, would you know number three? Uh, it's marked on the side of the subway stop, but I've forgotten. 116th, is it? Beg pardon? 116th. Uh-huh. Uh, number uh, one, uh, what are the official school colors of Columbia University? Blue and white. Uh, number uh, three, uh, from what country is Colonel Ben Lim, the delegate to the UN? The delegate to the UN? Mm -hmm. Colonel, I don't know. Uh, number one, do you know uh, what the country Ben Lim is from? I'm sorry. Number two? Korea. Polly? Uh, number one, what is the chief product of Costa Rica? Bananas and coffee. Bananas and coffee. Uh, number two, could you tell me where is Curacao? Curacao is an island uh, in the Caribbean. Number three, could you tell me where Curacao is? Not in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm aware of that. I just wanted to be aware of that. No, I don't. Number one, could you it's tell me where Curacao? I beg your pardon. In the Caribbean. Uh, number three, what was your husband lecturing about when you met him when he was on tour? He was lecturing on Latin American politics particularly the relationship between America and the Latin American countries. I see. Number one, uh... Oh, I passed. <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, I no. can't, but... All right, I... there you are. Number okay, two, Jack how Clark. old were you when you married Mr. Figueres? I was 23. How old were you when you married Mr. Figueres? I was 23. Number one, how long have you been married? Almost four years. I see. Who is the Secretary General of the United Nations, number two? Dog Hamishol. Who is the ambassador from the United States to the United Nations, number one? From the United States to the United Nations? Yes. A Cabot Lodge. Yes. 
Wow. <laughs> you passed too, Jeff? Yes. Here you are. I'll help you out. Kitty? I'd like to find out what number one was studying at Columbia. Sociology. And number three? French. French. Number three has surprising answers for me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> number one, what is the... Uh, what, by the way, what is the capital of Costa Rica? San Jose. And number two, how many people are there in San Jose? What is the population? When I left, we had just given birth to our one million. <laughs> There's a collective birth, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Our time is up. It's time now for you to mark your ballot. So do so, if you will, for number one, number two, or number three. Polly, are you ready? No. Well, for whom did you vote? Well, I voted for number one. I know I always say this, but I think it's number two. <laughs> no, really. No, honestly. Well, why did you write number one? Well, because uh, I think it's number two, but she's just looks too young or something to be the <laughs> first. I don't know. Now, now, I don't mean that you look old, number one. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I'll no, but number one okay. has a very first lady look about her, I think, you number one. by the bell. I mean it, really. Well, Jack, how about your vote? I think number two. 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 I think you're right. If, I don't know why. If I were Senor Figueres, I certainly would have married you. Kitty, how about your selection? I voted for number two. Well, A, she knew who Ben Lam was, unless you fooled me again. And two, she had a proprietary air. She said, we gave birth to our one million. Yes, I caught that. How about you, Hi? Kitty, it's not Lam, it's Lim. Oh, well, uh, there you are. And it's, uh, and I voted for number two also because of the Ben Lim thing, although I thought that number three knew where the subway station was next to Columbia, 116, but number two may have lived there and took cabs. <laughs> oh. I'd like to change right. my vote, please. I'm sorry. Oh. Vote is in, but you tell us later who you think it was. <laughs> there we are with our minds made up. We're about to find out which one of these three lovely ladies is the first lady of Costa Rica. Will the real Mrs. Jose Figueres please stand up? <laughs> Polly, I promise you your chance to change your vote. Do you want to? No. All right. Number two, would you tell us who you really are and what you do? My name is Ina Harbalik. I'm from Porchester, New York, and I'm the office manager at Finch College here in New York City. <laughs> Thank you very much. And number three, what about you? My name is Blanche Gandolf. I was a school teacher, and now I'm a housewife with a little daughter and husband to take care of in New York City here. Good. As you can see on the tote board, as we might call it, there were three incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $750 to divide. Ladies and Geritol, thank you very much. Good night and good luck. <laughs> now, we'll get back to our panel in just a moment. Tonight, I'm sorry to say, panel, here we go again, except to remind every one of you to watch the Polly Bergen show on Saturday night. It's thank been great, Bud. Polly. So, good night, panel. Good, good night, Bud. Bud. And uh, one further reminder to all of you, when you're sending your Christmas packages in your mail, be sure you wrap them carefully and securely, put on the zone number, address plainly, and separate the out-of-town from local. Uh, it'll help the post office inspectors a great deal, believe me. Our program, as you know, is brought to you by Geritol, the fast-acting, high-potency tonic that helps you feel stronger fast. And right now, this is Bud Collier reminding you to tell the truth. Good night, everybody. <laughs> To Tell the Truth is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the CBS Television Network. Miss Bergens and Miss Carlisle's gowns by Florence Luster.